guys, welcome back. It's my sister. Ali. What? So I literally just dropped Lisa off at work, right? And you know, I come up to like an ultimate kiss. I come up to an ultimate, right? Tell me why I like the ultimate takes off. I held a glance. Oh, wait, I'm recording. I can't put that in. <laughs> okay, you need to bleep that one out. But really? What happened? Did she see you? Wow. Don't look, you idiot. I know it's been a month, a month and a half since the last time I recorded. I know the last video I recorded was, well, I've recorded multiple videos after I posted um, our date night in quarantine um but i just i never posted them they were edited everything was fine but i just never posted them because i wasn't happy with the way the video would come out um it wasn't anything crazy or special it was just i don't know just the time the timing of when i wanted to post my video like everything was just everything going on and the world right now it's I just felt like it wasn't time it wasn't the right time to post again my sister anyways so um I just I didn't post any video after our date night um video because I just felt like it wasn't appropriate for me to post anything um even now posting this video I I'm I'm still kind of like, mm. um, the whole Black Lives Matter, th that it's, it's, it's very upsetting to me. Um, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it, even though I should, but I just, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I really don't. Um, I just feel like our everything in this world that's going on it's it like gives me anxiety it just blows my mind i talk like with my coworkers about it and eli about it it blows my mind how like growing up i i was taught by my mom and my family to love everyone no matter what skin tone they are no matter what what their background is that there's really people out there, adults, adult people teaching their children to not like a certain race or to not like this person or that person and I don't, I don't mean to cry, I really don't. But it's just that going on and then the virus that's going on, like, I feel like everyone's forgetting about the virus, like there's still a virus going on. I don't know, I just, I, I everything that's going on it really gives me anxiety it scares me I don't like talking about it because I end up getting really emotional about it and I'm really a crybaby like for real at heart I'm the biggest crybaby ever um but it is what it is um when it comes to my emotions um but I just, I felt like after my date night video, I just, I felt like it wasn't right for me to post anything. Um, so I didn't. Um, I was still posting on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, things like that. But to get on camera and speak, I just, about anything. Um, I just, I didn't feel like it was right. So, um, today I'm off and... I really wanted to clean my apartment today. I, I feel like everyone has that day when you're off out of the week and it you take that whole day to just get everything situated at home. That's literally what I do every single week um, on one of my days off just to get everything straight at home and make sure that everything's clean, 
ready for the following week. Um, I actually, I stopped by Hobby Lobby after I dropped off Eli today at work and I went and found this huge shadow box. I'm not going to show the front just because it's, it's just going to glare, but it's this huge 16 by 20 shadow box. Um, originally $49.99, I got it for nine bucks. So we were on the come up today. I am going to use this shadow box to fill it with the flowers from our wedding um, and then a couple of other things from our wedding. Um, I've been wanting to do this even before we got married, like I knew I had this idea. Um, I really want to put some sort of writing on the front just so it's not super plain, um, but I am going to do that today and then I'm going to clean today. What happened? No. Like, low key, low key, see how she still has like a little place in my heart. What did mom say, Cheyenne? Like, oh my gosh, my sister's so annoying. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. But, OMG, I'm over it. I'm not. Obviously, I'm Miss Popular this morning, I'm receiving a lot of phone calls. This past, well, actually, the past, it's three months now. Um, Eli and I have been trying to start a family. Um, this last month, well, this, I'm, I literally just started my period. Um, leading up to me starting my period this month, like, gave me so much more anxiety and just I kept putting this pressure on myself um I honestly thought that when Eli and I like we were actually trying I really thought that okay I'm gonna get pregnant right away um but it's it just it hasn't happened um I was texting my sister um, two days ago, which was a day before I was supposed to start my period. And my cycle, it's now pretty normal. Like, I usually start on my tracker, like, the day I'm supposed to start. Um, I am that type of person. Um, like, I start, I start to feel cramps, bloated, moody, two to three days before I even start my cycle um but this month it was it was different like I I really really felt like I over like my body everything my heart my stomach everything it just it felt it felt different this month um I kept getting this weird feeling in my stomach and every time I try to explain it to someone like I've had a couple of mothers and they tell me they've experienced the same things I was getting this feeling in my stomach like, I don't want to say flutters because I, a flutters is a thing when you're pregnant, like when you feel the baby, um, but I, in my stomach the past two weeks, I felt this feeling in my stomach like it felt like, it felt like butterflies, it felt like that feeling you get, you know, when you like someone and like you feel them coming and going and but I had that consistently for two weeks and I sat there and every time it would happen I would stop and I'd be like what is this feeling like I it would be times when I'm not even around anyone when I'm not around Eli and to this day even though Eli and I have been together for a while now Eli still gives me butterflies when he does things or when he looks at me a certain way so but this it was different like it felt different I would get it like it would be like a wave and then it would go a wave and then it would go like it was consistent for two weeks and I I would put I would put it down in my my tracker what I was feeling I my last cycle from last month I thought I was pregnant then <laughs> um because I usually my my breasts they don't like they're not super sensitive or they don't feel a certain way 
um, when I'm going to start. But last month, my my breasts, they were so tender and like they hurt. And my cycle, even leading up to me starting my cycle last month, it like TMI, but like my, I didn't start right away. I, my flow, it, it was super, like I just spotted a lot and the color, it was even different um, of my fluids coming out of me. Um, so it, it's just the past few months have been not difficult for Eli and I, but I'm like, I'm really anxious. Like I, I want to have a family and if I never thought that I was going to be that type of, that type of woman to want a family. Like I, there's women who, you know, having children or having a child like it surprises them and they're like oh crap like it just happened but I like Eli and I are planning for this and we want this like we we really really want to start a family and I didn't think that I was ever going to be like that um it it upsets me I know I'm emotional because I'm on my period so I need to talk it out <laughs> um before I even had thought about having a boyfriend or anything, I never in a million years thought I was going to get married. I never in a million years thought I would ever want to have children. And now that's something that I want more than anything. I want to have children. I want, I want to have little mini-me's and little Eli's rocking around. I just... Like, I pray about it every night. It makes me upset because it hasn't happened, but I know that God, like, it's in his hands. God's timing is, is perfect. He doesn't, like, it, it's in his hands. He's, I just, I have to be patient. And I've always not been good with patience. Um... bad. It literally looks like I got freaking lip injections. Wow. Today I woke up. My lips were so crusty. The first thing I said right when I woke up, I was like, my lips are so chapped. I look in the mirror and it literally looks like I went and got lip injections. Um, which you saw in the previous clip. I think, let me get it. I've used this chapstick before. Like it's literally the chapstick 
brand chapstick. Um, it's not gonna read right because I'm recording with the front, front camera of my cell phone, but it's the chapstick one and I have the strawberry one. I've used the spearmint one. The only one that I have not used in that pack, did it come with the black one? I don't know, I don't know, but I think my lips are having an allergic reaction to the chapstick, chapsticks, um, which is weird because the last chapstick that I purchased was chapstick, but it was the black one. I believe it was just like the original one or the mint one. I don't know, something like that. So I went to Target a few days ago and I was like, hey, I need more chapstick. Let me just get the three pack. Um, it came with this one, I believe the black one and then the green one. Um, the past couple of days I noticed my lips, they're super, super dry. So like, what do you do? You just keep applying more chapstick. And then this morning, what you saw in the previous clip, my lips were freaking swollen, especially my upper lip. Literally looked like I went and got lip injections, which I didn't. Was it cute? A little bit. Um, but now I know what I would look like if I went and got lip injections. So that was this morning. I did about a 40 minute workout. I did some upper body kickboxing. I did some upper body cardio and kickboxing today. Um, I got a good sweat in. Um, I just got back from the grocery store. I needed to get water for Eli and I. So now I am going to completely clean our apartment. It is about 11.15 now. Um, I need to clean our bathroom. That needs to be cleaned. I really just want to disinfect everything. I'm going to clean the kitchen, the living room, you know, the same old routine. Every single time I vlog, I feel like I'm always cleaning the apartment. This morning I had my smoothie after my workout. In my smoothies, I put, um, let's see, should I do, do an, what I eat in the day? It was mixed berries, cinnamon, peanut butter, and then a protein shake, a half a protein shake. So today is Thursday. Um, I completely stopped recording after yesterday. Now I have about a little less than an hour to go and run a couple of errands with Eli. Um, I'm just waiting for him to get into the car. I have an eyelash extension appointment um, today at 12. I'm super excited about that. What's happening? Okay. What's happening? What's happening? Do you like them? I do. <laughs> They're kind of fuller than what I used to get, but she was saying because I haven't gotten them done in so long. This this was usually the length that I would usually get. But she did a lot fuller. I look like I'm gonna fly away. <laughs> You're gonna need a kickstand. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. I know. I did get my lashes done. Um, as you saw in the previous clip, I will go ahead and leave Kenya's information down below. Um, but like I said, it is going to be eight o'clock here soon, and I do want, <clears throat> excuse me, I do want to get a quick workout in because I didn't work out this morning. My goal, well, what I've been doing, I work out four to five times a week. Um, today will be day three, and it is Thursday. So I plan on working out today, Friday, and Saturday, um, and then taking Sunday off. Um, I try to take the weekends off, but there's times where that doesn't happen. Um, but I'm going to do a quick 35 to 45 minute workout. Um, probably something light because yesterday, like I said, I did like uh, upper body kickboxing cardio workout and my body is killing me. Um, but I am going to do I don't know, maybe some Pilates or something, something for my core, because I really, really, I like doing core exercises and cardio. Um, those are my favorite things. Um, like I like jogging, I like going on long walks, I like um, core, I like planks, things like that. Um, I hate lifting weights, and that's what I did yesterday when I did some of my kickboxing, and I just, 
I, I don't like it. It's not my favorite thing to do. Um, but I did that yesterday, so today I get to do something that I enjoy.